Matt here from Matt's Fish Tanks today. And I'm going to be showing you my 75 gallon and my 90 gallon. I'm going to show my 90 first because I have a lot of things to explain about this tank. And then uh, I'll come here. Alright. Here's one of my Jack Dempsey's. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Look at those colors. Holy crap. My other one, it looks a little demented from the glass, but let's see if we can get them on this side. Beautiful colors as well. And then I have two red fin tinfoil barbs. I have a Pleco, he's under that piece of wood. And the smaller Pleco is right here. You can see his tail kind of stick out from down there, but uh. That's him. Oh, the big one's moving now. Maybe I can try to get him real quick. There he is. Yep, here he comes. That's the bigger one. Um, I did get swords. That one fell out because I replanted. But uh, I never had plants before, and the, the guy said these are the easiest plants to deal with. He said, you know, if you don't know anything about them and stuff, get these and. Uh, I'm going to get a little bit more, I just wanted to see how they would do, they actually grew a little bit already from where they started, they were actually all pretty small, these ones really grew, and these ones I actually picked up just because they were extremely cheap, I got all these plants, I mean it's not a lot, but you know, that one, this one, this one, and this one for $5, so you know, it was a good deal, so I said why not let me try them, try, try them on cheap plants that aren't going to take too much work, but uh, I'm just going to go over what I got running in this tank. I got Penguin 350 and then another Penguin 350. The 150 watt um, heater. The top fin air pump. And then there's, those are my stones on the wall. An Acreon 1250 air circulation pump. Which that is not running right now. I just turned it off for the video because all the plants start to move and and the blocks like the wood and then the bubbles from the air stones go throughout the whole tank and it makes it look like uh, dirty and stuff. So I just wanted to go over this tank real quick. Now the 75 gallon. Let's go over her real quick. Ooh, let's see if it focuses. There it goes. I have four Oscars instead of two because my brother, he had these two right here in a 10 gallon tank that was so dirty and I couldn't watch it so I threw them in here just to save them and I don't want to get rid of them because you know now that I had them sorry about the, the camera being shaky but now that I had them I just can't get rid of them you know it should be a bigger tank for these four but it's alright they are all happy they're kind of just not moving right now because uh, I'm close to the tank and they always think I'm gonna feed them when I get close when I walk away Especially when I leave the room, they all become so active. And then, like, when I walk, the second I open the door, I see them being active. And then when they see me, they just stop because they think I'm going to feed them. So <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Uh, I do have an Aquion 50 over the back filter. And then another Penguin 350 over there. And then a 100-watt uh, heater that turns itself on and off or whatever to regulate the temperature. In my rock cave, my Pleco always is in there. You can't really see him that well, but he's always in there. Uh, I'm hoping to add plants to this soon. Not real plants, because I know my ostriches will definitely tear them apart. But, uh, and I need to get a background for this tank. Other than that, this tank's pretty much done. Um, see, so yeah, that's the reason why I have four ostriches in this tank. His colors are beautiful. He's the biggest. He's almost a foot long, if not a foot long. And uh, his colors are beautiful. This guy is the second best colors. Let me see if I can get him. Move a little bit right now. Come on. Let me see. Hold up. I'm trying to get the best. See, they really think I'm going to feed him. He's got very good colors, too, this guy. They never let you see their colors. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> but uh, his colors are amazing. And Oh, let me see. Come on. His art. His art, too. But, uh...
His are pretty good, but uh, he was sick when he was young. And uh, the white on his head is because he tries to move the rocks, and when he bumps them, he kind of hurts himself. But, uh, yeah, this is my room, my fish tanks. I just kind of wanted to show you everything I got going on and just explain what was it with them. Um, I actually have a new tank that I'm getting soon, so be on the lookout for that in my videos. Yeah, it's going to be pretty awesome that I'm getting a new tank. It's bigger than my 90, and that's all I'm going to tell you. But it is bigger than my 90. Oh, let's see, there's his colors. Oh, come on. His camera stinks, but... There we go. Look at them. And then this guy's colors, too. Wow. Beautiful. They all have pretty decent colors, so... Alright, well, thank you for watching. Uh, just like and comment if you, things I should do to my tanks, recommendations, things you like about them. Uh... All that stuff, 